Marisha, I never know that she was a man. I never knew. I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as. One option, placing a tracking microchip under a service member's skin. Special operations. And if you hear the shouting, it's a group of demonstrators who come. 9-11 was an inside job. It's no longer a theory. What I'm about to say is fact. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. They have planned and are now leading us into a one world communist government. Well, there have been extraordinary scenes in Berlin tonight as thousands of people gathered to hear Barack Obama deliver key foreign policy speech on his current European tour. The Democratic presidential hopeful laid out his vision for America's place in a new world order, in a new world order, in a new world order. It's not a new idea. President Bush talked about it back in 1991. It is a big idea, a new world order. President Bush said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. There's a need for a new world order. I call upon all states to join ranks in order to found the new world order of the 21st century. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. And people talked then, in 1990, of a new world order. And the question for us is how we meet and master all these challenges to ensure that Britain enhances its competitiveness in the process and realize, realizes what I believe is our destiny of success in this new world order. So, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. It is a new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges for the future. And people better understand that they mean exactly what they're saying. It's a new world order they're trying to create, and they're trying to do so uh, not only uh, without approval uh, or consent of the government in this country, uh, but despite the popular will. Uh, this is a straightforward assault by the elitists in this country. There is a global meltdown coming. It is a global depression. And one world currency and one world financial system is the end game. China said last week they want one global currency. France said yesterday or the day before that they want one world order, a new world order, at the end of this event. Gordon Brown will today call on fellow world leaders to seize the opportunity created by the worldwide economic crisis to create a truly global society. The Prime Minister will use a high-profile speech in the city of London to say that Britain, the US and Europe should join together to create a new, stronger and more just world order. This engineered collapse is there as a massive problem for which you um, offer the solution. And the solutions are the infrastructure we've been predicting all this time, including the world central bank. The goal of this manipulation, and has been for a very long time, is to get the world population to see as a good idea or the only option in given circumstances, circumstances that are manipulated into place, the creation of a one world government a world central bank which would administer all financial transactions on the planet, a world currency, and a microchip population linked to a global computer. The wealthy elite who have the money and the power know that if they can create a one, one world global social system, that they can control the central authority. In other words, world control, world domination. The, one of the oldest desires in, in the history of the world. There's a very, very clear-cut and easily identifiable system in place 
that puts all of these elements from media control to government control to energy control together into one apparatus working together effectively towards its final goal, which is you know, global control. Because of the compartmentalized pyramids that they've uh, constructed within all these institutions of government and finance and, and, uh, and corporations, the vast majority of people who are daily making contributions to push the world in this, uh, towards this Orwellian global state have no idea that they're doing that because they don't know how their contributions fit in with everyone else's, only the few at the top do. Most people don't have a clue that unelected private bankers actually control the governments of the world. There is this like cozy little <laughs> myth that is perpetuated between politicians and the media. The media report the world as if presidents and prime ministers are the final arbiters and decision makers in the world. Which means that the people above the level of presidents and prime ministers that really make the decisions, they're never looked at or exposed by the mainstream media because they're not accepted to exist. The central bankers of the world are working together to create a one world government. A global police state as sinister as anything George Orwell ever wrote about. But every person on the planet Earth will have an RFID chip implanted. It is an impl the first implantable microchip for humans that has multiple security, financial, and healthcare applications. More than 100 law enforcement officials in Mexico are having microchips implanted in their arms. The chips allow a person to be scanned, sort of like a cereal box at the supermarket. Just like the microchips implanted in the necks of dogs and cats, allowing lost pets to be identified, this glass capsule can do the same for humans. A chip in everybody would be the universal monetary system par excellence. Uh, because there'd be no escape from it and you'd be uh, totally under the control of those who issue the electronic impulses in that chip. The problem throughout human society is that the good men and women do nothing. They don't want power. They don't want control. They want to, leave, uh, to lead a leisurely life. They want to spend time with their family. They want to lead simple lives. But we are forced throughout society, throughout history, and throughout human time to stand up against bullies. And many times we stand up before it's too late. And we reverse the course of tyranny. And more often than not, we don't stand up in time. And horrible things have to happen first. So decadent societies learn why liberty and freedom is so precious. If you think you don't like the situation now, then think what you're going to face a little way down the road. And more than anything, uh, think of what your children are going to have to face. Because you think that we live in a controlled society now, this is nothing compared with what they are going to have to live in. So for, for, in terms of uh, parents who, who are listening to this information, I would say this. Well, go and look your children in the eyes and tell them that you can't be bothered or you're too frightened to do anything about it. You're too frightened to get involved, too frightened to get involved in, in being another conduit for... Um, getting this information uh, further and further expanded in, into the public mind, that you're too frightened to get together with others to stop cooperating with this system and to not be intimidated into coming into line, which is a bit like coming into line in a concentration camp and, uh, and, and thinking it will be okay as long as you stay in line and you do as you're told, you'll be fine. And then you realize at the end of it, well, actually, it ain't fine. And, and if you'd have all rebelled earlier, then you wouldn't be in the situation you're facing now. The point to, uh, of mathematics alone ought to uh, let us see where the real power is here. There are billions of people, six billion, nearly getting on to seven billion on this planet, who are being manipulated. There are, in full knowledge of what they're doing, a relative handful of those who are doing the manipulating to the end that we're talking about. They think they've beaten us. They think that they're going to have their way with us. And I'm here to tell them they're not going to have their way with us. We are going to defeat them. You guys aren't going to be able to get away with your New World Order, sir. Talk about Bill. You know what New World Order is. You will never get a New World Order. Never. National sovereignty will prevail. The New World Order is going down, sir. You can laugh. Wake up, people. Wake up. Research the New World Order. This is important. Look it up. Investigate it. Your New World Order will fall.